Hello, everybody. Before we read the book, we need to have a book buddy. It's good to have a book buddy, somebody you can share the book with, and they can take turns reading the book back to you. And I'm going to make one magically. I'm going to cook one up in my pot. First, I need the ingredients. I want him to be at least as old as I am. I want him to have a hat and a robe and a beard. And we'll just put in all the ingredients. Then I'm going to mix them up with my magic wand. Mix up all the ingredients. And we let it simmer. I put the pot on. We let it simmer for just a second. And it's done. And now, oh, it looks like it's got a cool moth. Here he is, my book wizard. He's my reading buddy. I have another reading buddy behind me here, Superman. So I'm going to put my book wizard with him. And now we can read our book. And now for the book, Trouble with Money with the Bear Family. Brother Bear and Sister Bear knew quite a lot about the ways of bear country. They knew where the most beautiful wildflowers grew. They knew where the wild berries were the thickest and juiciest. They knew the best spot for watching sunrises and sunsets. They knew where the best honey trees were. They even knew the very special place where you could almost always see a rainbow from a secret space behind a waterfall. But there were some things they didn't know very much about. One of these things brother and sister didn't understand very well was money. Oh, they knew money was fun to have and even more fun to spend. And whenever they got some as a present or for doing a chore for a neighbor or for no reason at all from grizzly gramps who tended to spoil them or from Papa Bear who spoiled them even more, they ran as fast as their little legs could carry them to the Bear Country Mall and spent it. For a honeycomb on a stick, a Boswell glider that did loops, a tiny little mouth organ that only played three notes. They never bought anything sensible, and they hardly ever saved. Once in a while, Sister put money in her piggy bank, but she usually shook it out again before it had a chance to cool off from her hot little hand. Brother didn't even have a piggy bank. Mama was becoming concerned about the Cubs' carefree, spendrift way with money. I think Brother and Sister should have a regular allowance, she said one evening when she and Papa were working on the family books. An allowance, said Papa. Yes, so they can learn to use money sensibly, to save, to plan ahead. Oh, no, said Papa. They're much too young for that sort of thing. Let them enjoy themselves. They'll have to worry about money soon enough when they are grown-ups, he added with a sigh. But it was Papa who first lost patience with their carelessness about money. It happened one day when the Cubs had been at a mall spending some pennies a neighbor had given them for walking her dog. That was when they saw the new video game. It was called Astro Bear, and it looked very exciting. There they are playing the game right there. A video game at the mall, Papa shouted. You must think I'm made of money. The Cubs thought no such thing, and when they pictured it, it seemed very strange. Mama could see that they were puzzled, and she explained, Made of money is just a figure of speech, my dears. That's when the Cubs realized that the situation was serious, because Papa Bear only used figures of speech when he was upset. You must think money grows on trees, he shouted, another figure of speech. Video games indeed, he continued, becoming more and more upset. There was no such thing as video games when I was a cub. Why, I didn't know what money was until I was almost grown. Precisely, my dear, interrupted Mama. And that's why this might be a very good time to start brother and sister on a regular allowance so they can absolutely not, roared Papa, knocking over a chair. They must earn their money. That's what life is about. Working, earning money, saving for a rainy day. The Cubs knew how really serious the situation must be. Papa had used three figures of speech and knocked over a chair. They decided right then and there to mend their careless, spendthrift ways. It turned out the Cubs were very good at earning money once they set their minds to it. First, they gathered wild flowers from those special places they knew about. Then they made them into bouquets and sold them by the side of the road. Business was very good. They gathered those fat, juicy wild berries and sold them door to door. Business was very, very good. Brother and sister were turning out to be even better at making money than they had been at spending it. They organized guided tours of Bear Country's finest beauty spots. Sister's piggy bank was jammed full. They started a very successful pet minding business. Brother had to borrow Mama's sugar bowl to keep the extra money in. 
At first, Papa was very impressed and pleased. But when the Cubs started to sell maps showing the locations of all the best honey trees, Papa began to have doubts. Those honey trees are a family secret, he complained. The Cubs don't seem to understand that some things are more important than money. They've gone from caring too little about money to caring too much. Why, just look at them. They're turning into greedy, selfish little misers right before our eyes. He continued. He pointed at the Cubs, who did indeed look like they were misers, greedily counting their money. Cubs, said Papa in his sternest voice, we're going to have another talk. But before he could start this speech, the Cubs took all the money they had earned selling flowers and berries, doing chores, minding pets, and selling honey tree maps and dumped it on his lap. Here, Papa, said brother, this is for you. That's right, said sister. We thought if we made some money for you, you wouldn't have to worry about it so much. We hope it's enough. Papa was so startled and so embarrassed at having been so wrong about them, he was speechless. That's very generous, said Mama. It's quite a sum of money, and I know Papa appreciates it. But I have what may be a better idea. Papa does worry about money, of course. Most Mamas and Papas do from time to time. But what Papa is really worried about is you. He wants you to understand that there's more about money than how to spend it. You know what I think, said Papa. I think we should start brother and sister on a regular allowance so they can learn to use money sensibly, to save, to plan ahead. An excellent idea, said Mama, smiling. After all, that was her idea. <laughs> what about all the money we earned, asked the Cubs. You earned it and it's yours, said Mama. What I suggest is that we take it down to the mall and put it into the Bear Country Credit Union. A credit union is like a bank, but the people, the bank there, they own it. Good suggestion, said Papa. That money can be your nest egg. Oh, dear, cried the cubs together. Another figure of speech. And a very appropriate one, said Mama. She explained that the nest egg is one of one the farmer leaves in the nest to hatch another chick. When you have money in the credit union, it hatches interest. Interest? Asked the cubs, puzzled. The credit union will pay you for leaving your money there. That's called interest. You know, they are going into the credit union. That day, the Bear family went to the credit union and opened an account for the Cubs. It happened that the credit union was the right, right next to the video arcade. Say, that looks interesting, said Papa when he saw the Astro Bear game. Let's give it a try. So the Bear family gave Astro Bear a try. Papa ended up with the lowest score. You know, he said, we didn't have video games when I was a Cub. Will you give me another chance at this sometime? Any time at all, said brother and sister, giving their papa a great big hug. And that's the story of the Bear family's trouble with money. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.